what's up guys learning with rich here in this video i'm gonna show you how to make your pipe tags or any other tags rotate along with the component so let's say for example i'm gonna zoom into this area here where my plumbing pipings are located so if i want to tag this it's very simple right because i only have here horizontal direction pipe and vertical uh, direction pipe so if i select here uh, pipe uh, tag by category so i have a couple of options here that i can use so i have horizontal vertical the other option i don't use that so i just only use horizontal here if my pipes are horizontal which is you know already so if i have a vertical pipe i just select vertical and then i can place it here okay so let's say for example you have a pipe whose direction is not uh, vertical or horizontal. So let's say I'm going to create a pipe here. I'm going to convert that to T-fittings. Let me create a pipe here. So let's say here. And then suddenly I go to a different angle, for example, like uh, 45 degrees, like that. And then after that, I go down. And then I go to different angle again. So let's say something like that. And then I select here modify. Okay, this pipe here, this vertical and horizontal, of course, we can tag that easily, right? Because we have vertical. And then we also have horizontal for this one. So how about the two pipes here with different angle? So I can't use horizontal, right? And then I also can't use vertical because... I don't like that so it's not tidy of course you can use a uh, horizontal here and you can put a leader line right so you can uh, where's the tag uh, horizontal leader so I can do that right like that and like that so I can do that so let's say for example what I want is I want my tag to follow the direction of my uh, pipe okay there's another option you can rotate it okay you can rotate your tag manually so you can select the tag here and let's say horizontal i'll just uncheck the leader i'm gonna put one here like that and then i'm going to rotate this so just select that rotate pick the center of rotation here and then just rotate it like like that okay you can do that but it's really manual right and it's a uh, laborious especially if you have so many pipes okay so what you are going to do to give solution to this problem is that you need to edit the family so you don't rotate it manually so what you do is to edit the family okay so just imagine if if you have here this 3d model let's create a 3d view of that and then uh, let me just hide all the elements uh, let's filter that let's only leave the pipes and pipe uh, fittings right click hide in view elements so these are the pipes so how are you going to tag this are you going to uh, make sure you lock this one because you will not be able to tag your 3d model if the 3d view is not locked Okay, so even if you try that, Revit will tell you the orientation of the 3D view must be locked before you can add tags or keynotes, right? So you need to lock that. Just click this icon here. Click that. Lock. Okay, and then maybe you call this 3D isometric view. Okay. And then you can now tag this. So you can use the tag tool. Okay, like that. Right? like that like that okay so just imagine if you have so many tags on your isometric view you need to rotate it manually you click it and then rotate like that which is not working here in the isometric view so if i rotate that let's see oh so it's working but the problem is you need to do it really manual so if you have so many tags so you need to spend a lot of time to do that we're in 
the solution here is very simple. The solution is just to uh, edit the family. So how to do that? Just click the tag, edit the family, and then just make sure on the properties here, rotate with component is checked. So make sure that one is checked. Okay, so some families of your tags are not checked. That's the reason why it's not following your pipe. So if it is checked, so you apply that. All right, and then let's load it into the project. Load, and then make sure you override the tag that you have loaded. So just override it, and there you go. So it's now following the angle of your pipe, which is very useful any angle so like for example this one here so i'm gonna tag that there you go so it's now following my pipe so same with this one so you don't need to rotate it manually okay so don't rotate it manually just edit the, the family it's very simple okay so just go to the family and then just make sure rotate with component is checked Okay, let me just select this uh, label here and then edit this one. Right, okay, so that's a size parameter. Okay, so let me just go back again there. And there you go. Okay, so problem solved. And if you go to the floor plan, let's try here, click, and there you go. So it's now following the direction of your pipe. Very simple. So that's it for this uh, video. So hopefully you learned something from this. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestion, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.